Hey guys, Tammy Trier, Mountain Woman Journals at TrierWilderness.com. This is our homestead gold. This is wonderful, wonderful honey, and I'm really excited because next year, we weren't able to do it this year, but next year uh, I will have a raised bed of wildflowers and medicinal plants that will all be in front of my beehive. We already have a lot of wildflowers out here. Um, fireweed is very common out here. And I have a, uh, I have ten frames here that I'm cleaning off today, and half of them are crystal clear, and the other it's a darker honey. So, the crystal clear is coming in from the fireweeds, which is such a blessing. It's just, it's, it's wonderful, and it tastes amazing. So, I just wanted to show you this and just uh, encourage you uh, to continue taking small steps to becoming more self-reliant. We have. Um, meat rabbits, we have chickens, laying chickens, uh, so we have our own fresh eggs. We have two goats that are currently expecting and uh, we'll be able to milk them upcoming. We've been blessed to have loner goats periodically that we have been milking. Then um, we also have our horse, which uh, he is just a wonderful personality and a means of transportation if need be. And uh, I believe I said we have the meat rabbits, but we also have the bees and I originally started with three hives and last year one of mine didn't make it uh, right off the bat due to the cold it just wasn't strong enough so I have two hives one is still not very strong um, the other however is just amazing and booming incredibly so uh, I got 10 frames this year and um, I have some extra from the uh, hive that didn't make it but um, it's amazing to have your own homegrown things uh, on your homestead, whether it's with your animals or whether it's from your garden and you're harvesting things from your garden or from your beehives. But this is just amazing stuff. Um, it's a little hard to video and do this at the same time, but just look at these frames. They are just loaded with honey and it is just crystal, crystal clear honey. It's just amazing. And what a great taste, what a great way to add and sweeten your foods. Um, we don't use, we're trying to eliminate completely um, sugar. We don't use white sugar, we use organic cane sugar. We also use succinate, which is a dehydrated uh, cane juice. And I've started doing stevia. Um, I had six, six or eight plants out there this year. And I have all that dried and ready to be... Um, processed and I have one here on the counter that I'm just keeping through winter to pull off of when we need to but um, to be able to make your own stevia to have your own honey for sweetening your foods and honey is very medicinal all in itself and um, never goes bad so it's been a crazy time back here in the wilderness we've been busy gathering firewood for winter we've been busy uh, preserving and canning as much food as we can I'm drying uh, dehydrating elderberries and making uh, jelly and juice and syrup and I am also we just got done doing 75 pounds of carrots which gave us 74 quarts and two gallon bags full and a meal and the mountain boy and I um, did uh, hot mustard hot pepper mustard yesterday and hot sauce now the hot sauce is started that takes another two weeks for it to sit and ferment and heat up before I actually jar that and we also did uh, hot pepper jelly, um, all of which are awesome on our meats, our, our uh, elk and deer and moose. And uh, elk season opens on the 10th, so we are like really gearing up for that. We need to uh, put some more meat in our cache and be prepared for winter. So we're going to be busy, and we have been busy. So it's constant right now, and... Um, and, but it's part of being on the homestead. It's also part of living the way we do, and it's a real rewarding time. I don't have to ask the mountain boy. When he knows I'm canning, he's here. He loves chopping stuff. We have an awesome day communicating and just having a good time, uh, listening to music, whatever, and, and getting the job done. And he's a really good hard worker. So, you know, we got a lot on our shelves already and and just continue to get whatever we can get our hands on to continue uh canning and preserving so I highly encourage it now's the time um, check with your grocery stores check with your local co-ops uh, check with your farmers see what's available that they have and that you can get in abundance and get them on your shelves and um, to stay tuned for more canning and, and if you're uh, interested in canning be sure to check out some of my other videos that are here on our channel but um, 
Back to the honey. I need to give a big thank you also to Mama T. My mother-in-law and father-in-law were out here, and she was a huge, huge help for us. Um, she helped with the carrots, and she also helped me with salsa. We did 36 quarts of salsa also while she was here, uh, the three of us, she and the mountain boy and I. So we've been really, really busy, and I would have loved to take you out today and have shown you how I extracted the honey and uh carefully remove these frames without harming my bees. Of course, you do get a couple here and there, but um, I was trying to be really careful. But I, I record these videos off of my iPhone, so there was no way for me to be able to set it up and, and be able to record while suited up, and I only have one suit, so I don't want anybody else anywhere near because I really have the bees stirred up. Actually, our Rhodesian Ridgeback got stung this morning. I managed to go... Un untouched for, for once. Uh, usually they get on your pants, you know, sometimes behind your knees when you bend and stuff. So every once in a while I get it. But um, the, it's it's really a neat process, and I really love watching how they work and what they do. And they're just um, amazing creatures. And this honey is just beyond amazing. But um, I'm going to keep extracting here and uh, and maybe jump back on here in a little bit. You know, you have a really pure gift from God right at our fingertips. So I'm just so stoked. And I wanted to just share that with you today. Um, you, you saw the video in the beginning with all the honey. And I am like stickier than sticky at this point. So I'm going to just leave it at that. I uh, encourage you to check out our website at treyerwilderness.com. I am intending to do 31 Days to Better Health on our website this month for October. Uh, which will be uh, talking about uh, foraging from the wild as well as essential oils. So be sure to stop in and check that out. We were also blessed to have National Geographic pick up one of our posts and share that. And you'll find that on our home page. And that is just um, the, the blog post, It's Our Lifestyle. And I uh, was real excited and really blessed with that. And the mountain man is still working on this big project. And just say some prayers for him. The man is tired and wore out, and he's ready to have this done. So he should be done within the next 7 to 10 days. So keep him in your prayers, and just thanks so much for joining us. And be sure to tell your friends. And again, uh, visit us at treyerwilderness.com. Also, be sure to subscribe to our newsletter because I will be uh, releasing two of my ebooks, and they are available for free to our newsletter subscribers. So thanks so much for joining us. Stay tuned. We have a lot to share. The Mountain Man will be sharing a lot when he, he has completed here. He's just been so tied up, and we've been tied up in that project as well. Um, and so that's why I'm now catching up and running around with, like a chicken with my head cut off. So thanks again for joining us. You guys take care and God bless.